Hey folks, and welcome to my channel. I am Jason, the Clueless Sailor, um, and owner of Scotty. If you want to check out my antics in on the boat and on the water, um, then please do. Um, please do check out some of my other videos and this is a brand new channel uh, I have I don't think I've got any subscribers at the moment so if you do get any benefit out of this video um, and or you just for the sake of it you can press that little subscribe button and press that like button really would help because I do want to get this channel off the ground anyway um, I am as I said Jason the clueless sailor I am absolutely clueless uh, about sailing and boating um, I'm still learning I'm on a very start of my journey um, but one thing I do know about is VHF radios, which is the topic of this video today. Uh, whether you can use the uh, Bufong, Bufang, I don't know how you pronounce it. But you'll, if you've been looking for a VHF radi radio, um, you've probably come across them on Amazon. And because of their amazing price, um, 25 quid, um, compared to the, uh, let's have a look, we'll go on Amazon now. Um, compared to the, the kind of bog, the, the dedicated marine um, radios, you'll see that there, there's a big price difference. So you may be tempted, and if like me, when you were doing your research, um, some people said they can't be used for um, marine radio, uh, and some people said they can. I'm going to tell you categorically, they can, and I have used mine um, in that scenario. So if we have a quick look at Amazon, you can see if you want to just, I've uh, just typed in there VHF Radio Marine, you can see that there are dedicated uh, UHV, uh, UHV, uh, hang on, ah, better, VHF radios. <laughs> um, there, are, there are dedicated U, uh, VHF radios and they are very expensive. You don't need that. And if you scroll down, you'll eventually come across a ball thing. And uh, is that a two pack? I think that might be two. I think you might be getting two for thirty pound. Um, but the most common one is this one here. Now it does say e sing e cynic, um, but trust me, it is a bufang. It's just got a different name on it. I don't know why they've re rebranded it. I think it's something to do with a legal thing that went on in America where these things were made illegal um, and, or they're not approved by their governing body. Um, but this is exactly the same one, which is the one I've got here, which I'm going to be showing you how to program it and all that sort of fancy stuff. Um, and as you can see, it is super, super cheap. And these are, these are great radios. Um, obviously, the, part, the, the theme of this video is using it in a marine environment, using it as a marine radio. Um, they're great because they, they do give a, a good um, power output um, and you'll be able to use this to listen in on the emergency uh, frequencies uh, channels, um, ship to ship, boat to boat um, communications um, and more. There's a few features on this radio that are also quite applicable for use of using it in a kind of marine environment. Um, but the confusing thing about these radios when you first get them is they're they're not channel based. So on a standard uh, marine radio, you have channels one to I think it's 199, might be more. I'm not sure. I only use a certain number of channels. Um, and on these radios, you can quickly flick between channels. So if you get a, a call in from a boat, so perfect example. This is the fourth marine channel. Uh, that is on channel 71 that I can pick up from my house. I live right on the, on the coast. I'm just going to turn it off just now because it's going to interrupt and it's already interrupted me and I forgot what I was actually saying. Yes, so um, the bow thing are actually frequency based. So you don't have channel one, two, three, you have frequencies, but all of the marine channels are actually just frequencies. So if you know the channel, the channel frequency, you can program it into uh, a corresponding channel so that you can quickly switch uh, between them. Now, I know you don't know that you might not know the frequencies, um, but you can pick them up online quite easily. In fact, I'll show you that now if I go into my iPad. So I'll put a link in the description to this particular website. This is one I use. It's a kayak uh, guide that just came up in the, the top searches. But as you can see, it lists all the channels up to 88. Um, it gives you a description of the channel over here. So for example, if we go to channel 16, which is the International Mayday or uh, Distress Safety and Calling 
channel. See how I memorized that? Um, you can see that that channel is on 156800, and that's what you need to know. Uh, and once you've got that information, you can um, you can program it into your ball thing uh, and quickly navigate between them. So here's the ball thing or eSynic, which is what I've got. Uh, they're identical in every single way. The menu system is all identical. So let's switch this bad boy on. Channel mode. And as you can see at the moment, I have got it set to uh, 156800, which is channel 16, and 156575, which is channel 71, uh, uh, which is in my area, it's the fourth navigation channel. So that's the channel that I would listen out on to um, for the big boats, the big ships that are coming up and down the, uh, the, the, the Firth. Um, so I can know where they are um, and, and what they're doing so I don't run into them. Um, so as you can see on the right hand side, it says 16 and 71. You have to program that for that to happen. So there's two modes on this Baofeng. Uh, one of them is channel mode, which is what I'm on now, and one of them is frequency mode. And you switch between the two by pressing the big frequency mode, channel mode. button. Okay. Frequency mode. The other th great thing about these radios, by the way, is the battery life. I've had this thing on all day and uh, it still had uh, like four bar, three bars or whatever. Um, they're really fast to charge as well. Channel mode. Anyway, so to program it, you want to be on channel mode. Uh, you want to be on frequency mode. Frequency mode. Okay, and it's showing you the current channels that I've got on here. Now, again, if you didn't want to program it, channel right, mode. and you're on your boat and you printed, maybe printed this out, if someone asked you to, so to go on to a different channel, you could simply type in the frequency, but that takes time. And as you know, when you're on a boat, you want to be doing everything quite swiftly. Um, frequency so we'll get into frequency, mode. We'll get into frequency mode. Um, and what I want to do is, so channel 71, as frequency I said, is the, mode. Channel mode. is the fourth navigation. Um, the general boating chatter channel, so just this open, if you want to make initial contact with the boat in my area is 67. So if I want to get onto channel 67, because I've pre-programmed this, I just type in zero, six, seven. And I'm already on channel 67. So I would be able to hear any boats that are uh, chatting in the area, any boats that are trying to contact me. Um, if it's a boating club trying to contact me, I'd hear it on that channel. And then we would choose to go on to uh, another channel and carry on the conversation. Now I've already programmed in a couple of things and a couple of channels. So I, for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna program in channel four which is a free channel, so you could effectively jump down to that channel and uh, and speak to, to someone um, if you've pre-arranged it. Um, so channel four is 156200. So that's the frequency we need to we need to program into this device if we want to be able to quickly select it. So we need to get into frequency mode. Frequency mode. And so there's two uh, one thing to note here, you see the bottom arrow? That bottom arrow tells me channel mode. That button arrow tells me right now that that's the channel that I'm on. So if I was to transmit, I would transmit on that channel. To change to the top one, you press the A and B button, right? So now I'm 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 listening in on channel one five six eight hundred, uh, which is the emergency channel. If I was to press uh, the transmit button now, I'd be transmitting on that. I'd get into a lot of trouble. Um, so I'm going to put it back down to that one just in case, because it's quite easy to press that little button on the side. I have done it a few times when it's been attached to my jacket and it's bashed off something. So I always keep it on the lower channel. Um, the other feature on this is dual watch, which I'll talk about after we've, we've programmed that. Dual watch is quite important when you're out and about on a boat. Um, so we want to we want to program in that, what was it I said, channel 4, uh, 156, 200. And the way we program it is we go into menu, Menu. Once you're on frequency mode, make sure you're on frequency mode. Uh, I think the menu, quick menu button is 27. So if I press 27, it would take me to that. But you can scroll through using the arrow keys until you eventually get to it. But 27 should take me directly to the one I want. No. Is that 27? 27. Yeah, I don't know what I did there. So 27 will take you to the, the, the memory channels. This is where you program your frequencies into the channel. So at the moment you see the top arrow is on memory channel. That just means I'm on, and of course it switches out, so we'll go back. Menu. Uh, that means that I'm on the menu. So if I press up and down, it will take me to the next item on the menu. Um, so I want to press the uh, menu button again to get onto the lower selection. Memory channel. And that takes me on to the channels that I can actually change. So channel one I programmed in Channel two. So when you scroll through these channels, when you see CH dash and then the channel number, that means that something's already programmed in on that number. Now this 
device came uh, pre-programmed with Menu. random channels. So I didn't program these ones in, they're already, they're already in there. Memory um, channel. So it's channel four I want to program in. I've already done channel... F I thought I'd done channel three, maybe not. Um, I want to do channel four. And because it says CH004, I know that there's something in there. So show you the difference. Channel one, there's nothing programmed in there. That means it's free. Channel four, there's something programmed in there. And I want to program that frequency, channel four, one, five, six, 200. So to do that, now that I've got channel four selected, I actually want to delete that entry. My God. Menu. I'm going to have to be a bit quicker on this. I want to delete that, whatever is in there. Um, and the way I'll do that, I need to go back to channel. channel 4. I'll try and be a little bit quicker this time. And I want to press the menu button again. So I'm still on channel 4 and I want to press a back button which will take me to the next menu uh, option which is delete channel. Uh, press menu again to get delete channel. onto the channel. Move up to the channel you want to delete. In this case channel 4. And I want to press menu again and that will confirm deletion. Confirm. So now you see the CH is gone, channel four is free. So we now need to program the um, the frequency into it. Delete channel, confirm. And we exit. So the channel I want to program in is 156200. Uh, it's not in there at the moment, so I need to physically type that in. So one, one five, five, six, six two, two, zero, zero. So that's, I'm actually listening in on that channel now, but it's not programmed. Um, I want to program that into channel four and the way I'll do it. So make sure once it's selected, you got to make sure that that channel is selected before you press the menu. menu. Go to menu. We'll go back down to memory channel. Menu will take you onto the memory channel selection, channel. pushing the button up to channel four. And then simply by pressing menu again, Receiving them. it's now telling me that uh, channel four has been programmed. So if we exit that, You'll see 156200 is there. The it is take, whichever one you have selected, and you go into memory and do that, it will store that memory. So how do we know? How do we check? Well, if we go back into program uh, channel mode, channel mode, you can see there now. We focus channel four is selected uh, as 156200. So if I go back to the general, well, we'll go back to the five, uh, the fourth navigation, which is 071, 70, channel 70. Zero, seven. One. That will switch me back over to the navigation. So if I was on channel 067, Zip, six, seven. and I got a call to Scotty, 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 um, I would answer it and we would decide on a channel to then go and carry the conversation on. Let's say in this case, it's going to be channel three, uh, channel four, sorry, which we've just programmed. It's zero, 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 zero four. four. And I can now transmit on that channel, no problem, and and hear it. Now I have tried it. I've tested it on my um, on my boat with my inbuilt um, VHF radio. Um, use channel six, transmit on that. I can talk to someone who's at the front of the boat um, uh, if I'm needing to give them instructions if it's moving, or um, or if I'm at the front of the boat and someone's driving. I can with the engine noise, you can't hear a thing. So I can use this to to quickly chat to the, the person that's driving in the boat. So it's really handy that way. Um, I can also use it to, um, if I'm in the cabin underneath the boat, um, I can still listen out on emergency frequencies and ship to ship and all that sort of stuff. Now I actually bought this um, because me being the clueless sailor, um, the one that came with my boat, I thought was broken. The transmit button wasn't working. I could hear everything coming through, but I couldn't actually, um, I couldn't transmit on it. And um, I was going to buy a new a replacement uh, mic because I thought that was, what was maybe the problem but turned out that everyone I looked at that was just too confusing CB radio this CB radio that compatible with this that and I thought you know I'm gonna end up buying this thing and it's not gonna be compatible with my radio anyway turns out it wasn't broken at all I had sent it to dual watch which allows me to monitor two channels the merge channel whichever other channel I want um, and it, it, when you're on that channel you can't transmit so I bought this because of that, but I'm really, really glad I did because it is a great piece of kit and it's great to have a spare. If anything happens uh, in the boat and I lose power, um, then I'm not going to be able to use my inbuilt radio. So to have that as a backup is pretty damn good. Right now, there are a couple of other features that you will need to use or that would certainly be beneficial for you to use when you're 
out and about on the water with this radio. So you've programmed your channels that you want to use and want to listen in on. Um, but there's a few things that you, you kind of ideally want to activate. One of them is dual watch mode. So at the moment, I'm in dual watch mode, indicated by that little S symbol at the top. Don't know why it's S. I have no idea, um, it, it should be DW or something, um, but that's it on, which means that whilst I'm chatting on channel four or I'm listening into channel 71 um, or 67, if someone chats out, if the Coast Guard puts a shout out on channel 16 or someone uh, puts in a MEDI call, um, regardless what channel I am on at the bottom, I'll still be able to hear what's going on on the, uh, the channel, the, the channel 16 the emergency channel so you want to activate that and whatever two channels you have in there i mean you don't you know i can change channel i can change away from that if i want to dual watch on sorry this is really bad shadow can you see it oh it'll be better when i put the light on if i want to uh listen in on the top channel zero, zero seven, one, seven one and i want to listen in on so a and b flicks between the two remember and i want to listen in on the general boating channel zero, zero six, six seven, seven. So that's these two channels now on dual watch, but I'll always want to have channel 16 as the top channel so um, I can hear emergency. So I'm gonna change that back now, which was 06, uh, 016. 016. And then we've got dual watch. So to enable dual watch, you need to go into the menu. Menu. I think it might have been seven. Yeah, so number seven will take you right there, or you can scroll through using the, the arrow keys. TDR, I don't know what it stands for, it's in the manual, um, but it basically means dual watch, okay? And you want to have that to on. Menu. Right, uh, and that will monitor whatever two channels. You can switch it off, just again, same way, press on. menu, uh, off, on, but I definitely Confirm. want it on. And remember, you'll only ever transmit, if I exit that arm, you will, so channel 16 is the selected channel. If I transmit now, I'd be that. You only transmit on the channel that is that has a little arrow. So always make sure you're not on channel 16 uh, in case you hit that push to talk button. Um, so that's dual watch. The other thing you wanna, you wanna be conscious of is the power output. These are pretty powerful, I believe, um, although it does say that it's four, four watts is the maximum output. Um, so output obviously will mean the, the, the range that you will transmit. I mean, you'll pick up everything in the area, um, but if you wanna transmit, you'll need to think about your output. So ship to ship, boat to boat, if you're trying to communicate with ships that are you know, sailing alongside you or within visual range or you know, quite close to you, then you really wanna have it on low power mode. And low power mode is indicated by that little L there. Um, it's also handy as well if you do accidentally push to talk, um, you're not gonna be broadcasting to the, you know, to from miles away, uh, miles around you making an idiot of yourself. Um, the way you switch between the two is you can do it from the menu. I watched, I read some YouTube, uh, not YouTube, sorry, uh, Amazon comments on how you could do this. Someone was telling how you go to this menu and that menu, but you just simply press the, the hash button. The hash button with a little lock on it will take you out of low power mode. So it's in high power mode, low power mode. Now I always have it on low power mode just as default because I, I don't, I can, in case I make a mistake or I press the button by accident or a few times as I've said before, it's jammed against something and it's pushed to talk. Um, so I have it on low power mode, but obviously if you were uh, in, you were putting out a Mayday call, then you would want to be on high power mode, broadcasting on frequency 16, so uh, free channel 16, um, so as many people can hear you as possible, particularly the Coast Guard or the RLNI. <clears throat> and that's it. That's really how you would set it up. Um, you, it's a good idea to go through all these channels and, and program them in uh, because you will get someone, maybe even the Coast Guard, that will ask you to go to a channel. And it's going to be handy if you can just quickly punch in the... The, the, the channel um, and I think that's about it really there's nothing really more you need to learn about that just obviously you do need a license uh, to to operate one of these legally and including an in ship license but to be honest you can jump onto the Ofcom website fill in your details um, put that it's a handheld VHF radio for marine purposes and I was literally instantly um, approved I thought it was gonna have to be mod modulated 
um, or checked by a human, but it seems that um, if you're over 18, um, you'll get a license for it, no problem. So I would get the license for it because if you do ever use it or accidentally use it or you know your kids get hold of it and start mucking around with it, um, <coughs> they'll come and knocking on your door because they, I believe these things do give out a, an ID every time you transmit and it's not going to take them long to, to figure out who you are. So get a license. And it's free, by the way. Licenses are free. Ofcom.com, I think. But just type it into to Google, um, VHF License UK, and Ofcom will come up as one of the one of the top ones. All right, hope that's been good. Hopefully you'll save a lot of cash. I mean, I'm actually thinking of buying another one because they're only 25 quid, um, just to have a, a backup, backup, backup of a backup. Um, and maybe just to have a little bit of fun with them, um, responsibly and legally, of course. Um, so yeah, if you have found any of that information uh, valuable, then you know what to do. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Please help me uh, grow this channel. Nothing more demoralizing than putting out a video and go back a week later and see three views on it. All right, we'll leave that there.